Hi guys, it's Amber from Amber Eats Books, and I'm here today to actually bring you my first book unhaul of 2017. Now, over the past week or so, I redid my bookshelves. I have bought a lot of books in the last couple of months, and I just had no room left. So I went through all of my bookshelves, and I have three bags here to get rid of. Now, I will tell you guys, I was a little cutthroat when it came to getting rid of books. I went through all the books that I just definitely planned on never rereading, so books that I've read that I don't like, uh, books that had less than a 3.5 on Goodreads, and then there were some books in there also that um, some of my friends here on BookTube have read and rated low, and if we share the same reading taste, I really took that into consideration and decided to just get rid of them. So I have quite a few books to go through, so let's get started. So the first bag of books that I have to go through, I'm just gonna kinda fly through these. The first ones that I'm getting rid of are two Chuck Palahniuk books. I have Fight Club and Haunted. I read Fight Club and enjoyed it, but just will never reread it. And Haunted I read and there are some images in here that disturbed me so much, I know I will never reread it. So these two books are just going to go. The next book I read and enjoyed as well, If You Only Knew by Kristen Higgins, but is definitely not something that I would reread. I also had Chicken Soup for the Writer's Soul cute but not something that I would go back to. Then this book had just really low ratings on Goodreads so I decided to get rid of it without even having read it and that is Songs of a Humpback Whale by Jodi Pico. I've been kind of iffy with her books lately so if it has a really low rating I'm just not going to read it at all. That was the same reason for getting rid of The Lace Reader by Brunonia Berry. It, I think this only had like a three stars not even maybe. Then I'm also getting rid of Gillian Flynn's Gone Girl. I've had this book on my shelf for a long time and I've wanted to read it, but then I saw the movie first and I really have a hard time going back and watch, I mean, reading the book after I've already watched the movie. So this book has got to go. Another book that I will never reread is Walden by Henry David Thoreau. This is a beautiful copy, so I'm hoping someone else will be able to get, get something more out of it or have it on their shelves and really enjoy it. I'm also getting rid of The War for All the Oceans. This is a nonfiction account and it just looks really dry and I just don't think I'll be able to make it through it. So just something that I am not in the mood to read. The next book I have not read, but it had really low ratings and I really loved her other books so I thought I would maybe keep this and read this, but I just thought you can get it from the library if you really want it. And that is A Secret Kept by Tatiana de Rosne. So, as much as I loved Sarah's Key, which is another book by her, I figured, don't bother. Then the next one I read during Christmas time, and that was 1225 Christmas Tree Lane by Debbie McComber. It was really cute, but definitely not my taste, so getting rid of that one. I'm also going to get rid of The Swan Thieves by Elizabeth Kostova. I tried to read The Historian at the end of last year, and I got a good portion of the way into the book and I just couldn't read it. Maybe her writing's just not for me, but I keep looking at this book and because I had such a bad experience with the previous one, I'm like, oh, I really don't wanna pick this one up. So again, if I ever change my mind, I can get it at the library. I also am getting rid of The Echo Makers by Richard Powers. Even though this is a Pulitzer Prize finalist, it got really bad reviews, so I don't know, maybe just not a lot of people have reviewed it or maybe it goes over people's heads. I don't know, but I just don't want to waste my time with it. This one also did not get good reviews and that is Lucky You by Erica Carter, as well as The Kingdom of Childhood by Rebecca Coleman. Another book, The Winter's Tale by Mark Halperin. I'm actually kind of glad I'm getting rid of this because it is so large. Um, I just don't think I would enjoy it and it wasn't rated high enough for me to want to keep it. It looks like it was turned into a movie, so maybe I will just watch the movie. This book, I love the cover, but it does not have great ratings, and that is No One Is Here Except All of Us by Ramona Azubel. It looks beautiful, but why waste my time if other people that I know have read it did not enjoy it? And I've also kind of been not in the mood for quite a long time for detective novels. I do enjoy some here and there, um, but I've heard a lot of people not enjoy these ones, and I figured why even get into a series of detective novels if 
other people aren't enjoying them and that is The Cuckoo's Calling and The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith or JK Rowling. So I don't want to waste my time with those. One book that I had that I'm still interested in but I saw my library had it um, so I'm just going to get rid of it because I don't want to have it taking up space on my shelf and that is The Bipolar Child by Dimitri Papalos and Janice Papalos. I am interested in reading this at some point. I just find psychology fascinating and I really do want to learn more about this subject, but I can just get it from my library and save myself the hassle of storing it on my shelf. Now the next couple of books I'm getting rid of, I feel sort of bad about it, but I don't at the same time. These are the Dublin, Dublin Murder Squad books. And I have The Secret Place, Faithful Place, and Broken Harbor. I've read In Into the Woods, I think it is, or In the Woods, and I really liked it. I mean, I liked part, part of it. I have rated it three stars. I want to continue on with this series, but again, it's not one that I think I'm going to love enough to want on my shelves. So my library has it, why not just get it through them and get rid of these books? They're just taking up space that could be held, could be reserved for books that I really love. In my next pack of books, I had this giant copy of Jane Austen's novels. It had a lot of them in it. I, I think this was her, all of her works, um, but I ended up buying this box set over here with her four most popular novels. And if I wanna read the other ones, I can get them out from the library or something, but I just cannot read them out of this book. It is just so large and so heavy. Um, another book that I'm getting rid of is one that I DNF'd and that is The Zookeeper's Wife by Dan Ackerman. This was just Diane Ackerman. This was just so dry. I just could not get through it. Um, I'll just watch the movie. And then these are all books that I read, I enjoyed, but I will just never reread. And that I have My True Love Gave to Me, which is a collection of holiday stories from YA authors. I have The Christmas Genie by Dan Gutman. I have the Couple Next Door by Sherry LaPena, Look Me in the Eye by John Elder Robeson, Good as Gone by Amy Gentry. I actually really enjoyed this one. It just, once I read a thriller, I can't go back and reread it and have a better experience. I know the twist and turn, so it's not gonna happen. This one I DNF'd, and that is The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova, just not for me. I read this one and enjoyed it, but won't read it again, and that's Chasing Justice by Carrie Max Cook. And then this last one from this bag is a double buy, and that is The Dark Half by Stephen King. I bought this one a second time thinking I didn't own it when I already did, so that was just a mistake. So this one's going to go right back to the thrift store. Now moving on to my last bag of books. Um, two of the books that I'm getting rid of, I actually bought ones to replace, and those are some Stephen King books. I'm getting rid of Dance Macabre and Pet Cemetery. I've bought in um, larger versions of these to replace them with because I hate mass market paperback sized books. I'm also getting rid of this little set of um, dictionary, pocket computer dictionary, pocket the source, and po pocket dictionary. They were really cute, but they were taking up too much room on my shelves for decorations. And we all have cell phones now, so we could just look those things up on, the, on there or the computer. I also have a stack of books that I've read, I enjoyed, but I'm getting rid of, and that is, one of them is The Door to December by Dean Kuntz. And then I have Cutting for Stone by Abraham Verghese. This one, I didn't like that much. Handle with Care by Jodi Picoult. This was another one that had something really offensive in it to me that I just couldn't stand, so it needs to go. Sea Glass by Anita Shreve. It was a really enjoyable read, but not something I would go back and read again. Same with Leaving Time by Jodi Pico. Uh, the Measure of a Man by Sydney Poitier. Me Talk Pretty One Day by Davis Adaris. And then St uh, Born Standing Up by Steve Martin. This book I loathe. I could not read it. I hate that it has no punctuation. I hate that it has run on sentences. And that is All the Pretty Horses by Cormac McCarthy. So this one needs to go. I still own The Road and I'm definitely willing to give that one a read, but this one did not work for me at all. My last stack of books I'm getting rid of, but technically they're going to my kids. This was actually my son's book, The Kingdom Keepers by Ridley Pearson. I read it, I didn't really enjoy it, but he would like it back, so I'm going to give that back to him. 
And the last stack of books are going to my daughter. So The Lord of the Flies. I did not enjoy that story at all, but it is a cute little cover. I mean, I really do like it. I think that it'll be a nice collect, a nice book to add to her collection. Another book I enjoyed reading but won't read again is Room by Emma Donahue. This is a art copy, and that is The Family Tree by Carol Cad Cadwald Littler. I don't know how to say that last name. But I looked up the ratings for this and they just were not that great, so I don't want to take the time to read it. This one I've read and that is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. My daughter will probably have to read this during her high school years, which are right upon us now. So I figured I would give it to her and she could have her own copy here at home. And then a couple of thrillers. The Possessions by Sarah Flannery Murphy. Just did not have great ratings, so I don't really want to bother. And You Will Know Me by Megan Abbott. I don't want to bother either, so my daughter will read those and she will let me know how they are. Maybe if she says they're really good, I might change my mind, but I doubt it. So those are all the books that I'm getting rid of in the first half of 2017. I'll probably make another one of these videos later on in the year and let you know what other books I'll be getting rid of. But it freed up a lot of room on my shelves and now I don't feel like I have to rush right out and buy another bookcase or something because I can't fit all my books on my shelf. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on the books that I'm getting rid of down below and I hope you have a great week and happy reading.